Hello everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. Before we continue with today's video, please don't forget to share it. Hit the little bell to get notified as soon as I release a new one and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support and now enjoy the video. Reza Studios Noi solo noi 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 solo noi Na 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 Automobilista Dos The Beta and guys, here we are back again with this awesome racing title that continues to impress a lot of us and continues to be developed so quickly and so nicely on. And today we are in the meanwhile at the version 1.014 and I haven't read the changelog yet. I'm so sorry guys but I have been come back from work just now and I've downloaded the update files from Risa Studios onto my PC and now we are here to jump in very quickly because even if I haven't read the changelog I know what they have implemented as a main thing here with this update and guys many of you will know this as well and of course it is first the new Silverstone track and second a new car class and uh, you know that you know we had the Formula V10 generation 2 available and I have said in one of my previous videos that this maybe is a hint on what will follow maybe they will develop a generation 1 and indeed guys they have done it, they have developed a generation 1 V10 car which is accordingly to some information on the internet representing the Formula 1 of the year 1997 and uh, let's just check out the livery that has been available right now you can see what nice color schemes we have already here to choose from look at this nice blue and uh, classic red white color schemes and this is the first one is blue yellow combination but I think guys we will go with the Phoenix walk-in Fanatec livery design so let's choose it and this is remembering very much the Jordan of the year 1997 and I'm also thinking about Damon Hill's arrows who almost won the Hungarian Grand Prix with this car so a very nice shape very nice design of the chassis and uh, you can see here some of the details and here an overview on a really nice body work from the year 1997 from a very nice Formula 1 era the end of the 90s so this is the beast the beauty that we were gonna choose for going on track right now. So stay with me and follow me on track. And it will be for sure on Silverstone. There we go with the nice combination time trial with the new track and the new car offered by Racer Studios again to us. A new very important update. And here you can see it ready to go. It's looking like a spider focusing on its prey. But now guys, let's get into the car ourselves for some quick laps here on this new Silverstone track. Just going a little quick into the quick setup menu. Of course you can see we have set up the steering lock to the maximum settings of 26 degree and the brake bias a little bit to the rear as I want to have it always now guys let's jump in in we are in silverstone and we are again as you can see from this image from this moving around in the cockpit we have the truck ir again on our head as we're coming up the last corner of the modern silverstone layout now let's try how it is here with this car oh, you can't go flat out as you normally would with the modern iterations of the Formula 1 cars driving through these first two corners but not with this one here now we are into this very tight section and uh, what I can say, man, is this uh, engine sound really Im 
immense pleasure to the ears coming up this Woodstock corner or Woodcock as it is called don't know the name actually right now of the Silverstone track I think this is the Cops corner where in the modern Formula 1 of today you can again go flat out through it not in this car though coming up the S's Maggots and Beckets I think it's called right left left right and again left right coming up to the long hunger straight speeding up through the gears 280 km per hour at the maximum speed point here before the corner and there we're chasing down through the last part of the track and of this lap here I think these are the club corners or called something like this coming up the last bend again going over the line now let's try to look what timing this car can tear out of this track There we come up again this very tight section of course we are not on the limits by no means here just rolling around trying to get used to it to this beast of a car and uh, what I can say already now is that it's really nice to handle. It's a really nice physics already for my needs. At least coming up again, Cops Corner. Lifting the pedal once again. Maggots and baggots. And there we go, up onto the hangar straight again. And as you can see, we have uh, um, improved our lap time of uh, almost 9 seconds already. Club corner once again. Really nice getting over the line for the first time lap here in Silverstone. Modern layout. And as I'm getting more and more used with the car, possibly I have to rethink of what I have said at the beginning lap here. Possibly we can go through the first two corners flat out even with this car already as we left the track there just one moment really nice feeling of the car we have here but uh, let's stop it here just quick for a moment because I want to check out if the real rotation is yes it's matching exactly the rotation of my real life wheel that I have in my hand so this is nice now let's go for another quick lap after this one here let's uh, try to get out all we can from this car with our momentarily practice level that we have with this with it and then let's see what we can get lap time wise for today's time trial coming up this very fast right hander once again And 
through the club corners and there we go last bend of this warm-up lap and let's go over the line for another try here ah! yeah we spin out it was my driving error that causes this uh, was no issue with the car whatsoever so we have to redo this of course because I want to get a clean lap in before we can leave it for today's video I want to just try if, it, if I can uh, set up a little bit uh, more accurately my height here with uh, the sitting position and uh, the track IR let's try like this okay let's go with this guys so we can look a little bit more onto the track surface Let's train this entrance here and this fast right hander. Shifting down twice for the last two bends. For maggots I think it called it's called hanger straight. And what here in the beta version is still missing are the distance boards for the brakings. No 100 and 200 meter signs at the track sides before the corner. So we have to go without them. Now let's try another fast lap here. Again. Ah. Oh. just don't get it right with the entrance it's a little bit oversteering now I have heard from other youtubers describing this car as an understeering monster but what I am experiencing here it's just the contrary to it. It's a little bit over steering. Just not very. Now, oh, now it's good. Now this is the right height to go with. So let's try another run. a fast one before we leave for today's video getting through maggots and baggots once again here and I'm looking forward of course to the traditional old circuits variants of Silverstone that are already announced to be released very soon we're coming up again to club corners now we are sitting really comfortable in our cockpit and now uh, maybe we have the chance to get it right for a quick lap here fifth gear oh god 
over the curves at the outside line there. Again, through the club corners. And now guys, now it counts really. It really counts for the quick lap here of today's video. Lifting just a little bit of pedal there for the first corner. Going sideways at the entrance of the second bend, but catching the car back and then getting over this back straight away with a two second margin on our fastest lap time so far. Going through Woodcote and uh, gap is increasing now we have three seconds approaching to I don't know anymore this corner cops corner almost flat out through it throwing the car around maggots coming back onto the hangar straight there we go, a little quick look to the rear, down to the fourth gear, and there we come, through the last two bends of this lap, four seconds down, 4.7 seconds down, crossing the line, and there we go with the lap of today's time trial effort and now let's just look at it from the track side view here we have it guys coming over the line for what will be our fastest lap of today there we come up to this very tight right hand and you have seen maybe that we had a little bit of a sideways uh, sliding there with the rear end of the car really slidey this car but I like this uh, Ken racing in his last video on this update on this DLC has described it very accurately and I can confirm his impressions on this topic but for me this car is not understeery it's a little bit oversteery and I like this as well as we're coming through cops corner here almost flat out cutting through and now into maggots and baggots or baggots and maggots how they want to call it down the two gears from the seventh to the fifth and then getting onto the hangar straight shifting up to the seventh there you get into this right hand and hear the noise of this engine what a nice sound we have here you can't find this kind of immersive sound effect in any other simulation right now out there crossing the line then guys for this fastest lap of today and this is it for this video hope you have enjoyed it we will come back very soon with more stuff can't wait for more new download contents especially concerning traditional tracks but guys this is it for today hope you have enjoyed it if you end up liking the video despite having sung a little bit at the beginning then leave a like and for the rest consider subscribing to this channel and support my passion and my work here. Actually I wouldn't call it a work, it's just a, a must do for me because I'm really such a passionate real simulation guy and uh, it would be awesome if I had your attention and your support. So thank you again guys, till very soon we see us the next time. Thank you again and bye bye from Ralonso. Ciao!